Hi friends, uh, welcome to Data Warehouse uh, video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, what is a dimension and the list of uh, available uh, types in dimensions. So if you look at this screen, so in your data warehouse uh, projects, whatever you are talking about the uh, dimension modeling. If you if you are looking at uh, data modeling in your OLTP projects, we will call as uh, normal tables and the table types will be calling as a parent and child tables. But the same thing in dimension modeling, here we will be calling as a dimensions and facts. So dimension table will have a primary key and child tables that is it will have a, all the measured data and the foreign keys will be maintaining there. Okay. So dimensions means exactly what is a dimension mean. So where you will have a your business key information, where you will have a business key information that we will call as master data, that we will call as master data and uh, any table which will have a master data that table we will call as dimension table and this table does not contain any aggregated or measures related information okay this will have only primary key business uh, information and the other sales or whatever you have a fact so those will be maintaining in child tables that we will call as fact tables here so this is a overview on a dimension then list of like a different types of dimensions so first one is a slowly changing dimension like major interviews major we can expect this this is slowly changing dimension again there are three types that i will explain in different video if you have a uh, requirement uh, you want to store the data when you are getting changed master data changing means maybe the data can change that is called slowly changing dimension so the dimension data can change in future so your dimension should support to store those changed information that is called slowly changing dimension a rapidly changing dimension this is another dimension the same as a slowly changing but here this rapidly changing means huge data is getting changed frequently and you are storing those data that is called rapidly junk dimensions means if you have a uh, rapidly uh, changing dimension table like if you have a huge tables and the you are not able to store all the data so that time you can go for splitting uh, which is uh, some of the flags or some of the underused uh, related columns you can split that and you can create another dimension so that dimension will have only flag related columns that dimension will call as junk dimension then in referred dimensions means uh, if you are receiving a fact table data and you are not uh, your dimension is not at ready that time you can go for inserting some null values into your dimension those dimensions will call as in referred okay inferred dimensions because the dimensions is not at ready we will be inserting some null values confirmed dimensions means if any dimension which is using across all the data marks those dimensions will be calling as confirmed dimensions degenerate dimensions means like some of the requirements in your fact table will have a your meta, uh, master data but those tables will have a fact as well as master data that is your dimension table data and the foreign keys those type of tables will call as degenerate dimensions so role playing dimensions means for example if you have a uh, whatever you have a, a, a time or date or uh, whatever you have a columns for example ship date and order date or maybe so these columns will be there in your fact table right so fact table but uh, there you can find uh, both dates will be using a different uh, foreign keys okay dates whatever you are using the dates so this uh, date will be using same dimension table with a different uh, requirement one is a ship date or maybe delivery date okay order date or delivery date so this type of requirement the same table if you are using a different requirement that time we will use a role playing dimension because the same dimension will be playing a different roles order date delivery date ship date okay in same fact table that dimensions will be calling as role playing uh, dimensions then shrinken dimensions means uh, this is another type uh, uh, where you can uh, have a uh, product and category like when you are uh, splitting your data master data that time we will be calling as uh, shrinken dimensions Static dimensions means like all your data warehousing projects uh, will be creating some of the tables manually. Those are time dimensions and uh, locations because these are uh, geography locations, right? Whatever your available locations will be inserting once. 
that we are preparing data manually and we are inserting ones because uh, calendar whatever you are having a calendar feature calendars will be preparing and we will be creating the static dimensions those dimensions will be calling as static dimensions this is the list of types of dimensions we can use in data warehousing projects so thank you for watching my videos uh, please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much